Hey, what's going on guys? My name is The Broken Machine. Today, we've got a pretty nice game of Rush on Hainan Resort with the M98B Sniper. 45 kills in total and MVP. Hainan can be a tricky map, so we need to form some kind of strategy. Looking at the map itself, we can see that the enemies are going to come either on the left side or on the right side over here. Not many enemies are going to come up straight in the center because it's too risky and you're opening yourself up to being attacked from various sides. So with this knowledge, I tend to try and patrol the area, not staying in one place for too long. The key to controlling this map is really trying to hold the left side, so you need to make sure you're helping your team over here, and you also need to make sure there's no enemies coming up over here outside of Alpha. So to start off the game, I'm pushing up on Alpha's side. I see they've got their Amtrak coming in. I'm just going to wait for it. It's coming in now. There's no point in rushing up here. I'm going to get ready to throw some C4 just in case they come this way. Throw a flashbang for a second one. And we get the first kill of the game. Now the Amtrak's over here. Nice little flank around the side of it there. Get some C4 on it and take it out. Missed this guy completely, not sure what happened with that shot. And we're going to get this guy there. Now this side is pretty much covered. We know that because we've just taken out a ton of enemies there and we got a lot of teammates. So we're going to push over to the other side of the map and see what's going on. Before we get over there, have a quick look, little look down the middle of the map. We see an LAV coming in. Now there's no point in pushing up the map just yet. We could easily get killed by it, so we're just going to be checking our corners and seeing what's going on. LEV is pushing over to the alpha side, so we're just watching the middle of the map here. Let's snipe this guy over there on the island, and now we're going to push in over to alpha. LEV's down. Check our corners, can't see anybody. We can assume alpha is okay because we've got lots of teammates over there, so there's no, no need to worry about that. This guy rushes in. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. And now we can look at the minimap. We can see the area is pretty safe, so there's no need to worry about anything at the moment. We're just looking around the corners and seeing what's going on. Next, we push up the map a little bit. See there's not much going on, so we're just going to snipe this guy over here. Fortunately, get a hit marker on him. we got lots of teammates on the left side, so I'm not too concerned about that area over there. Got C4 ready, just in case anybody comes up. I thought there was a guy just in front of me, it turns out there wasn't. And we're just going to snipe this guy over here. So seeing these guys over here, we know now that there's a few enemies over there, so we need to be wary of that. And if you look on the mini-map right now, you see they're just armed. Bravo. Quick little look there, to see if anyone's hiding there, and then we're going to flank around. Fortunately, we got teammates on it, so that's all good. No need to worry about that. Explosives are coming in, so we know there's an Amtrak on the left side of the map. It's really important information that we need to be aware of. Got a hit marker on that guy running across. So there's two guys on the island. There's an RPG coming across. There's at least three guys over there, so we know there's going to be quite a lot of enemies coming from that direction. Get that sniper. And we're just going to have a quick look. Around here we can see this boat coming in on the right side. You notice I don't go rushing over to that right side. I just have a quick little look over this left area and this middle area. Just in case there's any more enemies coming that way. And we see this guy running. We're going to take this little route here. A lot of people don't use this route. Fortunately we missed a shot there. But you can throw your C4s over there. And it's, it's just a great little strategy for that one. This guy's planted. Get a little snipe, hit marker, and then finally kill it with the Deagle. And we're going to disarm it. Got a guy rushing in on the mini-map here, you can just see him. Got that guy, we've got this guy around here. Now that guy rushed in for the plant, probably a mistake on his part. Um, but fair play to him, at least he's playing the objective. Now you can see the LEV is coming up the middle section here, so we need to be wary of that and not get too close. Get this sniper here. Just have a quick little look in this area, see if there's anybody there. Get another kill there. And you get tagged up by a bow time, I believe, yes. So I'll just take a quick little shot. 
quite hard to hit the boats when they're moving that fast, but it's always worth taking a shot anyway, just in case. Switch to our secondary. Just moving slowly around the corners here. We don't want to get caught out by anyone who's aiming down sight. And we managed to find this guy. There he is. Two shots with the deagle. Quick little look, see if there's anyone else. There's another guy coming in here. And we get another kill with the deagle. I love this weapon. It is pretty amazing. 13 kill streaks so far. We're doing pretty good. Just moving up the map now. Checking the middle section. You notice I don't tend to push right up here. It's too open and you'll get sniped. I mean, that sniper right there, he was watching that area. So, not a good idea to go into that area. Highly ad advise avoiding it if you can. Now, if you look on the minimap, you can see enemies are coming in on the right side. I'm going to take a quick little look on the left side before we go and check these guys out. Get that kill there. Looking around there again. Still not pushing up too much. Yeah, I'm still staying in cover, still staying in the shadows. And now we can hear enemies are coming over here, so we're going to push over here. See quite a lot of people over there. Infantry there, and I believe the Amtrak is pushing around our left side. A couple of kills, kill assist there as well. That guy goes into the plant, this guy gets no scoped. Quick little look to the right, just in case there's anybody else pushing around that direction. I'm going to get one more kill before being taken out. Now, we've got some good information here. We can see that guy's behind that building there, so we can assume there's going to be more enemies over there. So when we drop in, we need to be aware of that. At this point, I realize there's hardly any teammates over here, so I don't think we're going to save this. So we're just going to try and get some kills over here. A couple of C4s down there. One kill there. I'm going to have a look at the MCOM, see if there's anybody over here. There's one kill. Rush out for the second. This guy gets revived. There's a third. And we're going to jump this corner and get the fourth. Very nice indeed. Nice little quad feed there. Now, we might as well burn some tickets here. So we're going to push up a little bit. Get this guy there. And get that guy there. Those two lined up nearly, nearly for a, a collateral there. I'm going to push back to the MCOM and snipe this guy here. Now, if we slow down that little clip there, you'll see that I just couldn't see that guy because our teammate's name was just above it. You've got to be wary of that. Sometimes it'll catch you out. So we've lost the first MCOMs and we're moving on to the second. Now these MCOMs are quite simple really. You'll get the enemies pushing in on the left side coming around the back of Alpha. You'll also get them coming up in between the two MCOMs and occasionally you'll see people coming all the way over the right side over here flanking right behind. But that one's a tricky one because you're right next to our spawn. So most people are going to try and come up the left side or the middle paths. And what I try and do is stay around Alpha and just try and keep an eye on this open area over here. Just try and just, you know, just look around and see what's going on. You obviously can't be all over the map at the same time, but if you're just looking around, you know, you can use that. Um, you can just see if any, any enemies are coming that way. So, or if there's any gunfights going on over there. So that's the kind of strategy we're going for here. So, we've got a spawn beacon. Just gonna drop in here. See if there's anybody coming up in the middle sections. Doesn't look like there is. So we're gonna move over to Alpha. Just having a quick little look around here. See if there's anybody around. You know, that's the sniper strength. You can look around large areas. There's a guy in the water there. Just a quick little shot, but I'm not too concerned about him. You know, I'm not gonna spend too much time looking over there. Get that kill there. Take a second shot, unfortunately miss. A hit marker on that guy. Try and shoot that third guy through the bush. Fortunately, didn't get that shot either. Now, a lot of people tend to stay right up at the front there, but I would heavily advise against that, especially if you're using a sniper rifle, because you're just gonna get swarmed by enemies there. And not a good idea. So, tactics here, stay around this area. Get a little quick scope here and try and stop the enemies coming from the section behind me. Uh, a lot of enemies will try and flank that way. So you want to be wary of that. Now we're going to move up just a little bit. We see there's enemies on the mini map. Let's see what's going on over here. A little quick scope hit marker. Deagle hit fire to the head. Beautiful. 
And we can see the LAV is coming up here. You notice I just have a quick little peek over the um, over the rocks there to see if there's any enemies. And I made a mistake here. I slipped off the side. But we're going to use this to our advantage. I'm going to scope around the corner and snipe anybody that comes around. They can barely see me from their angle. From my side, it looks like the enemies are massive. But that's because I'm using a scope. But from their side, they're, they're only seeing a tiny little bit of me. So it's quite a good position there. You gotta make the best, you know, you gotta make, um, you make use of what you got. Turn a bad situation into a good one. Push up a little bit, see if there's anybody coming up the middle paths. Quick little look around, try and take a shot on that guy, I thought that would hit. That one hits the tree, and he just gets behind the rock. So, having been shot, we're gonna spawn back in, rush up to the Bravo, MCOM, and plant a spawn beacon. Just having a quick little look around the area. I'm going to put some C4 on the MCOM. One inside, one outside. Just in case the one inside doesn't get them. You see there's a vehicle on the right side. But we have a quick little look on the middle section before we push out. One C4 will do. And I get a little bit cheeky here. This was a bit of a bad play here. I should have just scoped in. I was hoping one out of the three no scopes would hit. But, you know, the no scopes, you're taking your chances there. Especially if you're moving. So unfortunately, that didn't work out in my favour. Spawning in once again. Got lots of teammates on Alpha. No need to worry about that. So we're going to come over to Bravo and see what's going on over here. Little look down this little path there. See if there's any enemies for a flashbang. Any hit markers. You'll know if there's any enemies down there. I was being asked why I use flashbangs when I'm using a sniper in the chat yesterday on one of my live streams. And that's the reason, you know, if you throw a flashbang down a corridor, a little pathway like that, if you get any hit markers, you know there's an enemy down. Pretty simple. I was hoping that a sniper shot would hit there. A little C4 up there, just in case he turns around and comes chasing me. But we're going to scope this corner here and get the guy trying to flank. Now, we need to push up to this little hill here. Try and take a shot on this guy parachuting in. Fortunately, a bit, bit of a tough shot that one, so we missed. Now we're just checking the area here. You can see that we've just been sniped, so don't want to be up there too long. And here is a demonstration of how inaccurate the deagle is if you're moving. It's not good. Fortunately, I get hit by that guy. But now we know that they are on the MCOM. So we need to be aware of that when we get revived. Quick little look in there. Can't take the shot on that guy, he goes into cover. Quick scope on this guy. Can't see where the second guy is going. Looks like he's been taken out, so we're just going to go for the defuse. Like usual, always moving around the MCOM, never standing still. Always a good idea, just in case there's any snipers that are looking at the MCOM. Fortunately, missed that guy there. We're going to have a quick little look through the gap and get him in a second. Watch this. There he is, boom. You can shoot through those gaps. A lot of people <laughs> don't seem to do it, but you can. You might not get the headshot through them, but at least there's some damage. You might get the kill if they're already damaged. Fortunately, that shot doesn't connect. The second one does. Quick little look around. You see that our teammates are going for the MCOM defuse, so no need to worry about that. When teammates are on the objective, it's always a good idea to move around, check any areas around the side, you know, see if there's any enemies there. Nice little quick scope on that guy there. M98B, not the greatest aggressive sniper, but in defensive roles, you can definitely make it work. I see there's enemies pushing up there. Just took a quick little look at the MCOM in case there was anybody there. And I have no idea how that shot missed. <laughs> that totally looked like a collateral there. And we finally get the kill on him. <laughs> After all those shots. So we got lots of teammates around Bravo. I'm not too concerned about this area at the moment. Pretty confident in the team at this point. So we're just going to be checking the area out. Nice little quick scope on this guy that's trying to flank me. And another little nice shot there. Oh, I just missed that guy coming around the corner there. I was hoping for a headshot on that guy. But uh, he gets a nice headshot on me. Well played, well played. So 45 kills. We're coming up to the end of the game now. Teammates are on the objective. They don't need me. I'm going to throw some C4 anyway. 
just in case. No hit marks, no kills. And we get shot in the back by the same guy. I believe that's a subscriber. So fair play. Straight on the objectives there for them. Unfortunately, not good enough. Not good enough, enemy team. Maybe next time. But that was Hainan Resort. 45 kills. M98B. Pretty tricky. Pretty nice game. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, guys. Only seven deaths that round. Not bad, not bad. Well, that's it for today, guys. Be sure to check out my next videos and do check out my live streams. I'm on YouTube Gaming, but uh, I think I'm going to do some Twitch streams on the weekends as well. And uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Please rate this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Catch you later.